today we are going to see the formulation of linear programming problems uh, in operation research this is the uh, first topic it will be available so many uh, lpp model formulation we have many model so uh, in this video we are going to see the portfolio selection or investment decision uh, we are going to solve this problem uh, just read out the problem an invest uh, investor is considering investing into two securities a and b the risk and the return associated with the security is different security a gives a return of 9% and has a risk factor of 5 on 0 to 10 security 0 to 10 scale security b gives return 15% but has a risk factor of 8 the total amount to be invested is 5 lakh total minimum return on in uh, on the investment should be 12% maximum combined risk should not be more than 6 so for this problem we need to formulate lpp linear programming problem so uh, if you take any linear program uh, linear programming we have some steps for example we have three steps so one is identify decision variable write objective function third one formulate constraint so these are all available uh, later on fourth one also there many student uh, while solving the problem they will miss this what is called uh, the non-negative constraint non-negative so here uh, everything is production investment this based decision uh, this will not have any negative value so either positive or zero now uh, for this particular problem we have uh, the addition variable here is security a and b so therefore here i will write uh, x1 equal to a uh, whereas x2 equal to b security b um, the objective function straight away you can write it straight away you can write it uh, write it as a uh, um, the nine percent uh, in terms of return here the maximum return straight away i will write the objective what is called uh, profit profit z equal to profit means z maximization z maximization so i am putting into super uh, superscript which is equal to so straight away you can write on the uh, the return Written here, you have a nine percent. So security A gives nine percent. So nine percent means nine by hundred point zero nine point zero nine x one plus and security B uh, you have fifteen percent written. So point one five x two. So here uh, x one x2 we will put it into suffixed for our understanding we are putting so this is the profit model that objective function it is over now we are going to formulate the constraint so formulating constraint so we need to write a table uh, we need to draw the table here so here you uh, you put your investment decision here uh, security a here security b here and constraint here so i will write uh, the security a here security b here so here I am writing the constraints. So it is a general structure from the text straight away. Uh, uh, we are going to convert into table. From table we are going to make it uh, uh, the equation. So first we will write down the return. R E T U R and return. And the second one risk risk so here security a you have nine percent uh, return of nine percent so i will write uh, return of nine percent you have a uh, 0.09 whereas b uh, the return percentage is 15 percent so point uh, 0.15 and again risk for security a you have risk factor five so straight away you can put five and B risk factor you have 8 right uh, here the return uh, total minimum returns on the investment should be 12% so here you put 12 here 
12% here or uh, straight away we will put 0 0.12% 12% we are writing as that one and uh, similarly the maximum risk maximum combined risk should not be uh, uh, should not be more than 6 right here so you can put uh, you can write the constraints here so for example you put the heading here constraints so constraint 1 will, uh, we can be write as the written so 0 0.09 plus x1 Oh, sorry not plus x1 plus uh, 0.15 x2 uh, here you need to put the equation so equation less than or equal to so here it is the less than or equal to so 0 0.0 x1 so it is the uh, here we are talking about the return. So return, they are telling that uh, total minimum return, minimum return. So therefore, it is uh, greater than or greater than or equal to six. So I will go to the equation symbol. Uh, it's like uh, uh, greater than or equal to point one two. Similarly, one more constraint, constraint with respect to return. So we can keep it uh, written here, written, whereas risk, risk equal to, you have 5x1 plus uh, 8x2, so risk 5x1, 8x2, 8x2. Uh, this one here risk should not be more than so here they are giving combined risk should not be more than six so more than six means uh, should not be more than six means either six or less than that so here uh, you will get it uh, again I am going to symbol so here you will get uh, less than or equal to six and uh, similarly one more uh, constraint about uh, investment so uh, this is x1 plus x2 equal to what is the total investment so total investment uh, is rupees 5 lakhs here so copy and paste and again non-zero constraint so x1 comma x2 is less than or equal to zero it is less than or equal to zero this is the common thing so this is the way you can solve your problem so this is very simple step just uh, from the text you are making the column from the column you can write your uh, objective function various constraint so this is the profit function that is the objective function so these are all constraints so thank you very much for watching this